16-18, Johnny A. White. James, would you present, please? Yes, sir. Um, this last case, and one of the things I, I do want to update you on, is ultimately a request to rezone around 12 acres from R10 to R8 um, agricultural zoning. Mm -hmm. I make a point to say 12 because on the agenda, we didn't catch it, it just says the one 6.25 acre property. Um, it should actually be 6.25 and a six acre property on Whitewater. It, it has it on the maps, it has it on the screen. I mean, I think the intent was for both properties and it was advertised as such, which is something we didn't catch on the agenda. But that is the request, is two properties to go from R10 to EA as depicted. Um, with that, I, I think that you've heard some of the background and the history of the case. We did do additional research on the history. Um, the only thing that we were not able to find at this point is the actual zoning case that changed the property to that MH zoning back apparently maybe early, early 1990s. Um, I will confirm that we did uh, see where the applicant did purchase the property initially in 1997. We do believe the zoning in 1997 was MH zoning for the properties. Beyond that, uh, I would tell you just two, two updates, uh, two major updates since the work session and you were given your materials. The first is that uh, we probably had, uh, Ms. Carmela, I'm gonna say around 25 or so calls, above 25 calls to our office, was it 29 the last time we checked? Most of those calls were um, most of those calls calls were not specific about their location, but we did start um, trying to ask where their street name or where their closest city name was. And most of those appeared to be in the area, so we did have a large amount of calls in opposition. I will tell you that we also did receive a petition today that you have a copy of. That petition. Um, lists around 81 signatures. We've not verified all the addresses of the signatures, but you can see from the street names that they do list some of the local streets in Bent Tree and Beaver Run, but we have not done the analysis to actually locate the addresses based on the signatures. So those were two major um, updates since last at the work session, just to the case. Um, I don't believe that those updates change staff's recommendation uh, I do believe the applicants are going to have some information um, to present on some of these issues. But I, I think those two updates are something I wanted to make sure the Commission was aware of is a copy of the petition and just the phone calls um, that we did receive. Other than those updates, I think that's all I'd offer pending your questions. Uh, we do believe it's ready for your recommendation tonight should you, should, should you so choose. Yes, please. Those parcels that I looked at, another person owns property in the 20 minutes to the Yes, sir. And if you look, um, Mr. White owns the property to the north. Okay. The current property to the east along Whitewater does not touch his property very, very close, and it is divided by either one or two properties to get to access to that piece. If you were to go the rear way rather than the roadway, he owns the current property. He's, he is negotiating to purchase the property on Whitewater. That is currently under a Pine Cove LLC, which relates back to the original developers, the Cowards of the subdivision. What was the Original for the MH was this allowed under the MH zoning when he bought the property? Ms. Carmella, correct me if I'm wrong, but before 2006 in the county, under any zoning, as a base right, I believe you could have two cats, two dogs, or two horses. As just a basic right. Mm -hmm. And so that was the threshold before 2006. In 2006, that was changed to five domestic pets. And in some zonings, you could have more, which is call you a kennel, you have to meet some additional regulations. But the horses were taken out because they were not classified as a domestic pet. And so 
that, that gives you a stance on how that regulation shifted in, in 2006. So these two parts are sitting right in the middle of the dark end? They are. If you, if you look, sir, it looks like, um, I believe that the middle part of that neighborhood, and I don't know if I have a, maybe this map shows a little bit better, sir, but the, you'll see that the inner part of that neighborhood, the way it was developed, has larger, it has larger lots. And then the rest of the neighborhood around it has smaller and more dense lots. And so, yes, I mean, these larger lots are just internal to that neighborhood. They just share the same zoning, even though they are larger. Um, they would be able to be subdivided, but they just were developed as larger, I mean, I don't want to call them the state lots. That's just how the subdivision was developed. But everything is R10 that I'm looking at right there. Yes, sir. It okay. is all, all of that is R10. Okay. It will be divided into R10 density. It just doesn't get close to that minimum. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. The property across the road from the southern parcel across Whitewater Road, those, those basically barrier properties to the yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know what the current use of those are? Sir, I, I I'm going to guess residential, but I, I do not. I, I would need a little time to confirm that. I believe there's residences across the street buffering this property from the EA. I mean, I wish I could tell from, from the aerial, sir. So it looks like there's, if you look on the corner of Bent Tree and Whitewater, there's a smaller property. I believe that's residential. I'm not sure if the one directly across the street is developed with resident with a residence. And I think to the south, you have a, a residence. I'm not sure about that middle one where the wetland encroaches on it. I just don't believe, I just don't believe, I don't know if that one has a residence on it. It looks like about three lots down. You can see the top of the subject. Mm -hmm. the house or something. I don't have a car. Any other questions for staff from the commissioners? Questions. If there's someone in here in favor of this request, please step forward. That'd be me. Good deal. Yeah, I can answer any questions y'all want to about that part. State your name and your address, please, sir. George Corbin, 4244 Bent Tree Drive. And then I live directly across from Connie Park. We can catch the name. George Corbin. George. Yeah. I want to prove it. Have it rezoned and approved for his given. Get that the bench and all put up in proper respect for whatever he wants to do with it. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor of this request? Please come forward. Two thirty three Bent Tree Drive. And across Whitewater Road is Lance and Daisy's Scott, and behind them is Robert Lush, I say, which is EA. Back before the zoning change, we had livestock, and there was never a complaint on fire or ever was one. Now, to have livestock, you, we got to go through all this. But everything was fine until two of my neighbors, they decided that they didn't like it. One, because she wouldn't talk to me to find out why. The other one said she didn't like the smell or didn't like fly. Well, I, that can be controlled. I'm not asking for 500 head of cows. I'm just asking for a few cows. So I can see what's going on out there. And uh, 
This may all give me control with numbers. The, uh, the EA, I know that gives a lot more than RA, and now all that's negotiable. The, uh, the property value was a concern from some of the neighbors. I live right there, and I'm not going to jeopardize my property or their property either. Anything. And the whole both lots meets the county requirements for RA or EA. Jason told me the best thing to do would be take my property and split it up to 12 units and, and sell it and move. But I, I like where I'm at. I, I don't like to do that. I got my neighbor. And I don't want to do that to my neighbor. because of fencing and everything and pull down everything and I've got part fence back up and then I come find out that I, I can't have anything now. But no, I don't have anything there now at that area. Alright, thank you, my grandfather. We, we discuss it. I, and Mr. John, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought he had horses. The last livestock I had, he had, was... but uh, mine was cattle, and I had some sheep there also. Okay. My children they showed livestock, and that was you know right there now that we you know train and work them right there now. Okay. So you see, what you get into with a nonconformity like that, since it wasn't allowed, is okay. How do you? How do you negotiate that? We got into if you asked for, you know, what was allowed, which was horses, you could ask for the two horses potentially in a different process in front of a zoning board of appeals. And we talked about that, but since he didn't really want horses, we didn't go that route. The, the cattle and the sheep, you know, to his benefit and, and his um, to a compliment to him, it wasn't allowed. But I, we haven't found anywhere in code enforcement where they went down and said, you know, Mr. Johnny, you need to get rid of these. No. I think he just had them. We didn't know about them. We didn't go after him to enforce the current rule of the day. He just happened to have livestock at a time where the zoning didn't allow him, but we didn't follow up on that. We didn't enforce that at that time. And so he had some additional rights for the horses because they were allowed. But for the cattle and, and the sheep, we weren't able to establish those rights. Any other questions for Mr. White from commissioners? Thank you, sir. Is anyone present this evening that might like speak in opposition to this request? I, I feel like speaking favor. Good. Yeah, I'll accept. We'll take one more. Please come forward. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you are true Southern gentleman. <laughs> State your name and your address, please, ma'am. Hello, my name is Cindy Pippen. My address is 4137 12 X Road. My property, our property, bumps up to Johnny's property. We bought that property back in 98. When we bought the property, I asked our real estate agent, what was the zoning? He told me it was agriculture. We left the property, went to DC to work. We retired, we came back. Brought my horses with me. We got our barn up, literally drove the last nail. And three days later, I got a letter in the mail tell me I had to move my horses. Luckily, I had moved my horses to a better location, which is perfectly fine. I do miss them not being in my yard. But I do know that it was agriculture at the time that we bought the property. 
and it got changed from the from 2000 <coughs> to 2013-2012 when we moved back. And Jason knows that we were up in his office quite a bit trying to figure out what it was, what happened, and nothing. We moved our horses, and we're there with our horses now. We have to drive 15 minutes to take care of them. And the young man was saying, Southern gentleman, if you'd like to come forward and speak, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Jeff Square, 41, 41, 12-inch drive. And, uh, you know, back, back um, 25 uh, years ago, back in 1989, I moved out there on Weaver Road, 4200 Road. And uh, I lived there with my parents. And then back in 2001, um, I bought some property on Quail Nest, which uh, which is outside. Uh, so I just hope so to you guys. And uh, now, when I was growing up out there many, many moons ago, there wasn't a lot of people out there. Just me and a few other people, and you know. And as I was growing up, you know, kids and I, we 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 ran through a lot of those woods, swimming some of the more fishing holes out there, and uh, had a good time. And uh, you know, over the 25 years, I can tell you, you know, that's. Uh, some things have changed out there. You know, we got a few more homes, a few more families out there. But one thing that hasn't changed is that piece of property out there. You know, that property's been up for sale for, it's been for sale a couple of times. The, the property is just not desirable. And, uh, you know, and the way that Mr. Coward had that property set up, that subdivision set up, all the water drains off from the roads, which my father lives beside me. And there's a drainage that runs back there. And all that, all that water runs off that property back there. The property sits low. I don't know if you guys seen it or not, looked at it or not, but, you know, and you guys can contact Mr. Coward and, and find out that he had had that property for sale. And nobody wants it just because of how low it is and the amount of money that it would take to build up to doing it, wouldn't it? You know, and I have talked to Mr. White, and I told Mr. White, and I, and I believe that he was talking to Mr. Bing as well, and I told him, guys, that, I told him why that he's more than welcome to use back end of my property. I have I have 3.2, 3.4 acres there that busts up to Mr. Benny, and he can use my property to go into that property, and uh, he won't have to drive on the Whitewater Road. And uh, you know, and, and over the years we've uh, we've gotten the problem with some vehicles back there, and uh, you know, my kids have four wheelers, and you guys know we can't ride four wheelers on the public highways. We have to ride them on our property. And my kids, you know, they like to, they enjoy riding the four wheelers back in in the wooded area. A lot of our property is wooded, and uh, it, with the beavers back there, they hold they build up that water, you know, and it's really hard for my kids to enjoy it for us to enjoy it. So, and I was thinking that if Mr. White was able to get property, then you know, moving in with some equipment to help, you know, to work the property, it would help to, you know, surely make the beavers pack up and move out. You know, and the water can flow out of there, and you know we can all enjoy the property. Um, that's all I got. I would just ask you guys, you know, just recommend it. Any questions? Thanks, sir. Thanks. As I stated earlier, is there anyone here in opposition of this case? Please come forward, ma'am. Sure. State your name and address for the record, please. Sorry, please. My name is. I live at 4306 Whitewater Road. And I would ask for the right hand speaking. I have two more signatures to add. May I circulate that for you all or to yes. show you? You can do that, yes, ma'am. Can I approach? Yes, ma'am. We've lived in our property for 17 years. Our property borders 50%, which is two sides of the property, is being requested for rezoning and will directly impact us and our community. Due to time limits, I would like to read to you our neighborhood concerns and opposition of this rezoning. They have asked me to be the spokesperson for our community to express their concern. We are not interested and we do oppose the EA or RA zoning. We are not interested in the agriculture zoning. Um, to bring one point um, real quick, the uh, last gentleman state that property is desirable that's next to us. There are three addresses, if you look on the zoning map, that already exist on the property. The developer was ready to have three addresses uh, set up for that property. Our com community's quality of life will be diminished by hearing 
unpleasant sound for farm animals and equipment. These noises will prevent our working families from getting adequate rest, which will interfere with us being productive at our jobs and our children being alert at school. Smells from animal feces would be unpleasant and a nuisance to our community, which will affect the health, safety, and welfare community and comfort of our community. We do not want to walk out our doors and smell animal manure or step in. There are concerns over the increased amount of insects, such as flies, which are bites are painful and can cause allergic reactions, and they're simply nasty when they land on manure and they land on your food. Um, several of our neighbors have allergies to insect bites and hay. Our property values will concern them, maybe decrease. We, we bought our property as residential in the neighborhood. We invested a lot of money, time, and energy into this property. Did not expect the results would be changed due to the agriculture, uh, change agriculture due to the size of the majority of the parcels, the large number of families in the community, and the addition of the county sewage and water lines that we are paying for service. Agriculture zoning is inconsistent with all surrounding properties and would be spot zoning, which would serve no useful purpose for our community since all of the parcels are zoned residential and the majority of them have less than a half acre and will force them to remain residential. It would only allow six acres to put animals on as each of these two parcels if they're not connected and they will force the animals to live in a small space and will cause problems for them. Our neighbors are concerned that there may be safety issues with the animals getting out in the neighborhood and hurting these families. And may I reiterate to you, there are lots of families in this community and in this neighborhood. Our community is concerned about the potential increase of heavy farm equipment that will damage fence tree and whitewater roads since the two parcels are not connected. You'll have to use those two roads to travel. This result will be detrimental to our community as it will make it less appealing and desirable for people who want to live in our area due to the inconsistent zoning of two parcels surrounded by residential that will not be changed. This rezoning will be dev devastating to our community members since um, renters and landowners would have a difficult time relocating with mature people to live in our community due, due to the above um, uh, reasons. Um, we're also worried about runoff getting into wells or water lines and worried about chemicals being sprayed around our young children. To rezone these two properties in the middle of a residential zone neighborhood due to the proximity of these two parcels <coughs> a large number of people would affect more people in adverse ways and diminish their quality of life than would result in the two parcels for one property owner whose livelihood is not farming when there is agricultural land that is available in our county for sale. We would like to do that. This is not complete, that's not completely surrounded by a residential setting. Um, if it's approved and it defeats the purpose of having zoning, promotes spot zoning, health and safety reasons, water backup issues, destruction of wetlands, uh, potential contaminated water into some wells that are out there, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'd just like for you to please consider the numerous phone calls and amount of the number of households that signed the petition to oppose this rezoning. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. Any questions for presenter? Where did you say you live now? Sure, I live at 4306 Whitewater Road. I live, um, if you're looking at the first parcel on this direction right here, I live to the left of it. Okay. So our property borders 50%. It's two sides of our property that would be affected. Basically, there's not much property of uh, room if people were to put cows so you're right there. that's correct okay. from our bedroom and we enjoy being outside smelling the roses we don't enjoy smelling when you're outside our door how large is your property six acres but from our bedroom to the property that he's wanting to purchase there there's not much room at all and if we were to show you all the it's just in the very middle of, of residential. There's residential all around. Any other questions? Thank you, Mayor. Sure. Thank you. We have one more time just for one more in opposition. Okay. Are you are you in I'm, favor? I'm not no, I'm not in favor. You're in opposition, please step forward. In your state name and address. My name is Gail Bremer, and I live at 4226 Bent Tree Drive, and I live right across the street from the White's 
in the area that he would probably put the cows. Because the area that's right across the street from me, there used to the there used to be a creek there where he's gonna put the cows. There used to be a creek there and when it rained real heavy and all, it would come across under the road and back up oh, the creek went across uh, right down my line and then when it would wash off it would go down that creek and wash out where the young gentleman was talking about. There was a pond or, or, or whatever there. Now that he filled that in, that water doesn't wash off into that creek. It backs up into my yard and the mosquitoes are worse. So I, I have that problem now and now he wants to put cows out there and I'm going to have to smell the cow manure. I have to worry about the flies. The mosquitoes are going to probably even triple. So, and the lady's right, that's all residential. There's no, there's no other agriculture out there close to this home. It's all residential. And also, I've been out there since 97. I do not recall any sheep or cow over there. I do remember horses, but no cows or sheep. So please consider that. I also have an elderly mother that lives with me, but I have to worry about it. Thank you. Any questions for me? Thank you, My concern is that it was, you know, uh, according to Jason, it was always mobile home, never was any agricultural there. Uh, and, you know, uh, no offense to any real estate agents in here, but they'll tell you what you want to hear when you're buying the property as far as what the zoning was on it. Uh, all we can go by is what we've got in the maps and in the record book. And it was never MA, or it was never anything but uh, RH. Small livestock, I wouldn't see any problem with it. But I just can't see grazing cows in there. It's just, it's too close to the people that live around. Uh, that would be my one comment on that. Any other discussions, no further discussion. We're open for a motion on this case. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, a lot of people here who would like to figure out a way to make this agriculture, I would uh, like to do it. However, because I'm a farm boy. But we have a residential area that has been there as long as I can remember. And uh, we're trying to rezone two parcels right in the middle of the residential area to agriculture. That is spot zoning right in the middle of a residential area. And unfortunately, I can't support that. So therefore, I make a recommendation, make a motion that we make a recommendation of denial. Second. Uh, a recommendation for denial of a second. Got a second. All in favor of the motion for denial, raise your hand. Passes six, zero.